Stay tuned, I show you how to make a great chocolate apple cake up on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy. Cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya She's the queen of the park She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya Jolene Sugar Baker Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park The passion at the park The passion at the park Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I just got back from the store and I had to bring my own bag. Thank you all you politicians out there making bag taxes, you have to carry your own bags now. I know it's for the environment, but you're making thousands of dollars. Anyway, I bought some apples, and I got three apples. They're not even organic, I think that's the word. And I looked at my receipt, and it says $2.63. And I know there was probably a cheaper store to find those, but $2.63 for apples. And, you know, they wonder why people are fat, because... You know, three luscious snack cakes are only 99 cents, and, you know, I spent almost $3 on apples, and, you know, just for the record, I did eat some luscious snack cakes on the way home, but today's recipe uses chocolate and apples, and I'm sure you could find a better deal on apples, but wow, but it's a great snack cake that mixes the flavors of apple and chocolate together. I'm going to show you how to make my apple chocolate cake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my chocolate apple cake is really simple. And you can mix it by hand, but today we're using my mixer. And what we're going to do is get together two-third cup of butter that we have softened right here on the countertop. And it's melted just a little bit more than I'd like, but we're just going to dump that right on in there. Two-third of the butter right on into the mixer. Wow. Lights get hot here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I'll just dump that right on in there. And I've got one and one fourth cup of sugar. And this is just regular sugar. And we're going to put that in there. And we're going to cream it together until it's light and fluffy. Now we're going to add two eggs to this mixture, one at a time. So go ahead and add one, mix it around, and then add the other one. Now that you have that all mixed around, you're going to add the dry ingredients. And this is one of those things that probably would be better if you sifted it all out and um, actually poured it in a little bit at a time, but I just like to dump it all in. So first we have one teaspoon of baking soda. That goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And then we have one teaspoon of baking powder. So go ahead and just dump that right on into the bowl just like that. Mix that around a little bit. Now, this is just the unsweetened cocoa powder and um, this is just the, the dry unsweetened cocoa powder and this goes right on into the mixture just like that and stir it around there. Woo! Got a little dust storm there. Now that you have that all mixed up, you're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour a little bit at a time. Um, we're going to put just a little bit in there, just like that. And this is also um, three-fourths cup of milk. And we're going to pour just a little bit in there 
and we're just going to keep adding it until it's all gone. Now that you have that mixed up, you're going to add one to two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I like vanilla extract, so I just pour right on in and stir that around. Now you're going to add two medium Granny Smith apples, chopped up very finely. And those are those bright green apples. And we're just going to pour that right on in there and give that a whirl around. There we go. We've got a nice batter here and it smells like vanilla and chocolate and a little bit like apples. And I took an 8 inch uh, baking pan and I sprayed it down and um, sprinkled some flour in it and tapped it out so that we have a nice base to put our mixture in. And we're just going to pour it out just like that. There we go. We've got our mixture in the pan and I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to pop it in there for about 45 to 55 minutes. So you've got to use the toothpick test and really check it out to make sure it's done. So let's pop it in now. Set your timer. timer. Now while our chocolate apple cake is cooling, we're going to make a great fudge frosting. And it's really simple. I've got a half a stick of softened butter in here, and this is actually one-fourth cup of the powdered cocoa, the unsweetened, so go ahead and put that in there very lightly, just like that. Now you're going to add three cups of powdered sugar right on into the bowl, just like that. Now add a dash of vanilla right on into the mixture, just like that and also one-third cup of milk and we're going to turn it on very slowly so we don't have a dust storm and pour the milk in just like that and there you go you made your own homemade cocoa frosting and it was so simple to make and i can't wait to try a little bit of this mmm wow Taste that frosting flavor and that doesn't taste like it is out of a can. Wow, that tastes very good. Now we're going to spread it up on top of our cake here and make sure it's all covered. So go ahead and take a spatula and just smooth it on out. And there you have it, my chocolate apple cake. And it was so great to make with those uh, Granny Smith apples. Real pretty bright green apples go right on in this. And it, I can see how moist it looks. And we made that great cocoa icing with the butter and everything. And slathered that right up on top. And I just can't wait to try it. So let's get a bite of this with the frosting. Just like that. Mmm. I taste the apples, and the vanilla, and the chocolate, and that cocoa icing right up on top with the butter sure does make it. Wow! I hope you get a chance to make it yourself. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there too. Subscribe, because there'll be some more cooking shows right around the corner. I'll be back real soon. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.